Did you premiere Azimuth at the Israel Film Festival? It premiered last year at the film festival, and uh, next month, actually this coming week, we are uh, premiering at the Israel Fest Fest Film Festival in Manhattan at the uh, New York uh, Jewish Community Center. There is a uh, 70th anniversary celebration, uh, and Azimut will be screened on June 7th at the Israel Film Festival in Manhattan. That's this coming June 7th? It's coming, yeah, next week, this coming June 7th. So next, this coming March will be 40 years since the peace agreement uh, between Egypt and Israel. What are your thoughts? Well, I think we need to bring Kissinger back. <laughs> if you remember, he was going back and forth, you know, he was doing his shuttle diplomacy. And at the time, uh, there's a story about Golda. She was so proud that finally we have a Jewish Secretary of State. And she uh, received them at the airport and she said, Henry, I want to tell you how proud we are of you because you're a Jew, a great American, and Secretary of State. And Kissinger said, Well, thank you very much, Golda, but I must correct you because you see, first of all, I am Secretary of State, second of all, I am a great American, and only in the third place am I a Jew. And Golda said, that's all right, Henry, we read from right to left. Uh. <laughs> so we got to bring Kissinger back. Maybe he'll help. You know, it couldn't hurt. Uh -huh. But your picture depicts the, uh, the struggle between Israel and Egypt. And now we're looking back now almost 40 years. Uh, of course, your picture is historic. It's not current. Yes, it's a, it's a story about two soldiers, uh, an Egyptian and an Israeli, who happened to encounter each other at the end of the Six-Day War. And it's really an analogy of what was happening at that time. How did we get over the so many years of uh, war and conflict? And uh, it's not a true story, but it shows that there is an option uh, to war. That's really basically the message yeah. of the film. I don't want to give it away. Yeah. It's called Azimut and yeah. it's, uh, it will be screening at festivals around the world yeah. uh, and at Jewish community centers. It just opened in Israel in uh, April and we're very proud of it. Yeah, but okay, 40 years there's a fellow uh, 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 an uh, Egyptian Arab who tried to befriend Israel and the secret police were all over him and they made they, they tortured him and ultimately he had to flee it came to america apparently within egypt there's not a warm peace with israel and even so now with the palestinians there's not really uh, a, a a climate an atmosphere towards peace what are your thoughts well you know something what you what we don't see is what happens behind the scenes mm. And we may not have a full peace with the Egyptians, but what we do have is a lack of war. Uh -huh. We haven't had war with Egypt for over 40 years. Yeah. And that's certainly preferable as to what happened yeah. before. And there is a lot of cooperation that goes on, especially within the security services that we don't see. And uh, I think the future holds, especially with what's been happening now, with all the uh, Arab nations that are seeing uh, the truth of what's been going on, uh, you know, with uh, ISIS and with the Iranians. Yeah. And the cooperation behind the scenes between them and Israel yeah. is getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. I'm very optimistic. Uh -huh. Do you think uh, uh, leaving uh, Gaza was a mistake? in uh, 2005, looking back now? You know, I don't know. Uh, we can't, you know, it's a being a Monday morning quarterback. Monday morning quarterback. Uh -huh. uh, look, uh, okay. sure, uh, all I can say is I'm not a politician. Right. I'm going to leave it up to them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks.